All right, I'm just gonna have to finish this message and let y'all look at the, let it, let it sit on my belly. I wanted to make this message to let y'all know I didn't wreck my car. It just fell off of the, um, the dash there. When I tried to put it back, I accidentally hit the red button and turned off the um, recording. I definitely wanted to let y'all know I wasn't in a wreck. But what I was saying was the littlest one was in there with plastic peas and beans and goodness, I think she even had a tomato and she was dropping it all in this pot. She was going to cook Mr. Ace a stew. I got to say those kids love Mr. Asa, and I love them so much. Adorable Christian children. And then the most smallest one is a little boy, and I call him Blue Eyes. He has got the most beautiful, brightest blue eyes you've about ever seen on a little boy. So I call him Blue Eyes. And then the middle one I call Buddy. And the oldest one is my little Spud Muffin. Now, I'm going to tell you, those kids love Mr. Asa, and I love them. But the oldest one, while the middle one, or the youngest little girl, was ba uh, was cooking me a stew, the oldest one was in the background sweeping. I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm sweeping up our playhouse. It's dirty. Well, you see, that's the point I'm getting at. They act like little adults. And that is adorable. And when the Heavenly Father sees us, praise God, praise God, praise God. When the Heavenly Father sees us acting like Jesus, it just makes him like, oh, that's so adorable. Look at my people down there. Glory be to God acting like Jesus, talking like Jesus. I'm sure the Father looks over at Jesus and says, they do it pretty good. Jesus, I'm sure, smiles and says, yeah, they're just like a chip off the old dad's shoulder or chip off the block, they say. That's what God wants. He wants us to be like Jesus, not like the world, not talking like the world, acting like the world, living like the world. We must be who we are. We are Christians. We are Christ-like. It is time, I'm telling you, it's time to lay down the distractions. It is time to lay down your magazines and your books and your music and listen to God's Word. Listen to God's messengers. Listen to worship music, gospel music, praise music, full gospel music, whatever you want to call it. If it lifts up Jesus Christ, my friend, it is time that you put that before thy face. Look not to the left nor to the right, but to keep your eyes squarely on Jesus. Do not be distracted and look to the right. Do not be distracted and look to the left. Keep your eyes clearly focused on Jesus, and you shall walk on the water like Peter did. But when he took his eyes off of Jesus, he sunk. Keep your eyes on Jesus and you will walk upon the waters. You will walk on top of the devil's destruction. You will not sink into his destruction. Things that he had planned for you, you will walk all on top of them victorious. But if you take your eyes off of Jesus and look at the troubles of this life and the boisterous wind and the boisterous waves that's beating against you, you will sink. Keep your eyes on Jesus, friend. We must be like Jesus. I can't say that enough. The Bible preaches it. The Bible teaches it. It's all in God's Word. We must be like Jesus. God bless you.